Greetings, y'all. It's Matt from the Green Arcade, back playing some more Farming Simulator 17. Hey, we're back here on Lone Oak Farm. And, uh, do I sound a little bit better? I'm feeling a little bit better. I think I got over that cold. But anyway, we're gonna start, uh, cultivating here because we've got to start planting. It is the, uh, well, it's kind of the first day, I guess, of late spring. So, yeah, we need to get on the ball with our fields. And then we'll get into, uh, other stuff here. I think I need to move over. Just a her. Maybe like that. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to hire this out. Hopefully that's over far enough. Looks like it is. Alright, so I'm going to let this uh, worker cultivate my fields here. And we'll get those planted. Speaking of fields, we will teleport over. Let's go over to 30. It's right across the way here. So you can see our guy somewhere down there cultivating, maybe. But anyway, um, let's go look at the fields here. Basically, uh, all of them are planted. Uh, I've been doing missions on them. I think yeah, I think I got everybody fertilized. Let me turn the plow off here. Uh, yeah, I got everybody fertilized um, except for 21, 26, and 50. Haven't done those yet. Uh, probably should have already done them, but... Uh, those are not fields that we're really looking to buy this season anyway, or this, I guess, well, it would be year, wouldn't it, this year. Um, I am interested in 30, uh, maybe 32, uh, 31, uh, and then all of Mr. Bell's property, 38, 49, all that stuff. Um, and I've got some of them already fertilized in that second state, so uh, let's see. we got some new ones available. This is field 30 that we definitely want. Uh, let's find a good tractor. Uh, me? No. Mm -mm. I want to do liquid. May have to settle for the case. Now this I don't understand. Okay, they have this uh, Challenger tractor for this sprayer. It doesn't hook up to it. It will not attach to this sprayer. I don't know why they even have it list listed in there. Uh, yeah, that's that's better. We'll do that. Get your weight here. We need to turn some lights on too, because it's still kind of dark. Plus, they just look so cool. All lit up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Sixteen bulbs shining out the front there. Right, let's get turned around here and get this going. Uh oh, uh oh. Something's wrong. Mayday. Getting hung up on that post over there. Gotta be careful with that. I probably should have turned around and then unfolded this thing, you know. Would have made a lot better sense to do it that way, huh? Oh, goodness. out of here. There we go. I'd have lost a little time on that right there, but it's a good thing we don't get bonus time anymore, huh? Alright, now we're cooking with oil. Alright. We'll get this sprayed and fertilized here. And I don't think this is the second stage of fertilization. I think there might be one more, unless I'm behind a stage, which, you know, could be, but we will buy these fields when they are ready. Hopefully this will get our brownie points up with uh, Miss White there. So yeah, we've got uh, oh seven hundred some odd thousand dollars. Uh, I completed the uh, deforestation project, I guess, down there at uh, what is that field forty-five? Yeah, uh, got a whole bunch of uh, timber off of that area there. I need to go get the uh, tree planter and start replanting the trees. I may do that uh, during this day at some point. Maybe not during this episode, but definitely during this day. And, uh, oh yeah, the uh, cultivator got away from me here a little bit at one point or something. What were we, what we doing there? Were we doing a... Maybe it was the plow. 
can't remember what. Something affected that. I got a little too far into this field. It might have been when I was plowing over there. So yeah, once we get this property, we can start on the uh, trees over here. In 38, across the way there, you can kind of see it. It's got a lot of uh, fir trees on it. I'm really uh, liking that property, so. And it's one we can buy right away. So we'll be good to go there. Having a lot of fun on Lone Oak. Really enjoying it. It's a fun map. Doing a lot of missions and forestry and now we're getting kind of into the farming now of course the missions really are farming but you know like the field farming row crop farming it's all farming that's why it's farming simulator so no more 19 news yet um, I've read some good articles and stuff on uh, you know the acquisition of uh, John Deere and stuff like that so but no news no news sometimes no news is good news but I really would like some news I, I, I know we probably won't hear anything until uh, FarmCon which will be July 14th and 15th but it would be nice to have some news Where's our cultivator guy at? Oh, there he is. He's moving along. By the time I get done spraying this field, I'm probably going to have to move him over to uh, 44. Yep. I, You know, I combined 44 and 45. I wonder if I should run him east and west down there, like I am up here. I think I will. I think I'll start him east and west at the top part there. And, uh... Running from the north to the south, east and west. Come on, sprayer. This is a slow process. But really, it's the faster of the processes because you get this uh, large boom width. Usually, you get less time to do it, so it takes less time to do it. But we are now halfway, so yeah, buddy, we're getting on it, getting on it, getting on it. See, this this helps us out, you know, in two ways. We get the field fertilized in another state, and we earn brownie points. So with the uh, the field owner, so we're gonna get this field at a discount because we got brownie points with them. I like the brownie point system. I'm so happy that I switched to that. I was, I was, it's always been hard saying, you know, the loyalty bar or, you know, getting in with them or, or you know, earning their trust or something like that. It almost sounds devious, you know. But uh, brownie points, you know, that's just cool. You know, you earn, earn cool brownie points and um, go home and make a batch of brownies, you know. Mm -hmm. Not the special kind, okay. Just regular brownies, all right. Even though, you know though, okay, somebody, I, I read this somewhere, somebody asked, um, I think either a community manager or one of the developers or something, if there would ever be uh, anything like that grown in Farming Simulator. Uh, and they didn't rule it out. They did not. I was very shocked. Uh, you know, now that it's becoming more, I guess, maybe legalized, you know, for medical purposes, uh, they do have growers and stuff like that. Uh, even though it might be indoors, I mean, we have greenhouses here. Might have an indoor um, medical um, pharmacy. Or not pharmacy. Farm. Well, I guess it would be technically a pharmacy, but you'd spell it with an F, not PH. Not like the pharmacy where you go pick up your prescriptions. Although this would be a prescription, technically. So, but you couldn't get it filled there. This would be the farm 
a C, not the pharmacy. So, um, yeah. Oh, the things we think of. Uh, I think we. I think we've got exposed to the. Uh, to the fertilizer here, to the chemicals. I think we've got some. Uh, too much exposure to the uh, the chemicals here. Talking about all this stuff. I love uh, that '70s show with uh, what was his character name? Leo. It's uh, Tommy Chong that plays the character Leo. I love his character. That's um, it's always funny seeing him. Don't do drugs, kids. Not unless a doctor gives you a prescription. Prescription, I would say, yeah, okay. I mean, you know, there's there are some things that you need for certain conditions or ailments or whatever you want to call it. But um, if you don't have a prescription from a licensed physician, don't do drugs or you'll end up like Leo. And you don't want to really be like Leo. He's he's fun to talk to, but you don't want to be him. All right. I miss that show. That was a great show. That 70s show. They had made uh, that 80s show, and I think they did that all wrong. Uh, they really didn't give, you know, respects to the 80s. Uh, I think they introduced it too early. They shouldn't. They shouldn't have introduced it while that '70s show was on the air. Um, because spinoffs, while an original is still airing, never really work. I mean, take a look at Fear the Walking Dead. Nobody, nobody really watches that. I mean, it, they're trying to make it better, but you still got The Walking Dead airing, and I know they don't air at the same time. Woohoo, we're done. I know they don't air at the same time, but. Um, Still, people don't. Uh, it's not. It doesn't have the the viewer base that the real one does. So, all right. So we got that done. Ooh, our corn's coming up. Look it, look it. Well, it's not our corn yet. It's Miss King's. But let's see if she's got any work for us here. Oh, you know what? I need to go check on the the guy. Where's the guy? Oh, yep. The only bad thing about hired workers is they do miss a lot. So let me uh, go ahead and lower that and get this little chunk here. So I may have to do, uh, it'd be nice if you could have your hired workers do in rows first. I think that would uh, become very helpful. One day we'll have the hired workers, well, they, they will kind of be like AI well they'll you know say hey I miss this over here I need to go back and get that or the field is not completely cultivated I need to go back and get that so and I know they're picking it picking up on triggers like the building trigger there and and um, I think it's just wide enough to skip this part here but um, I'm missing yeah I need to get over I need to get over But uh, hopefully they'll come up with a new and better AI for future games. It gets better every year, I think. See, the problem was that with Farm Sim 15, the workers would get, I mean, they would just get stuck in trees all the time and all that stuff. When 17 came out, they made it better where they didn't do that but they also made it kind of worse because they don't complete the field they don't completely cultivate and all that stuff so maybe in 19 they'll hit the uh, the golden goose there so I'm spending a lot of time on this map I need to get back to my other maps and wrap them up. I think I'm going to wrap up uh, Green River because it was just a testing map to begin with anyway. I 
And uh, what else? Still got a little ways to go on Thunder Valley, but we're getting close, I think. Just a few steps at a time over there. Uh, old Farm is going to be coming to an end. The Valley of the Old Farm. That is a great map. I will, I will say if I had to to play it again, I probably would, but that is a great map. There's so much customization you can do. Uh, and it is the only map that I know of so far on console that you can remove the fences from the fields that have fences around them. You can remove them and... Uh, you know what, I think I'm going to do some inrows myself. I think I'm going to do a few inrows here. Get past these power poles and then I'll unfold this again. See where I need to be before I back this up all the way. To the pole to that line right almost right up against the pole to get it all right so we're gonna do some in rows here hopefully this will help our hard worker not miss any I'm sure it probably will we'll still miss some I gotta beat the rain if I do nothing else I need to get the soybean in the ground before the rain hits so I'm going to cultivate, and then I need to fertilize again, I think. Is that right? And then uh, plant. So actually, I could have my fertilizer already going back there. I'll get it going once I hire this out. We'll do, we'll do a complete uh, pass around this field here. And then I'll get it going. And at some point, we got fields to buy. We've got money right now. I may have to go ahead and buy one. Um, even though it doesn't have all the way, you know, the fertilization that it might not, that I would really want. I could always spray it myself, but then we use our fertilizer. And I don't know. I may just have to do it. Because I need a new uh, timber project, new logging project. I think we have cut all the, lim the uh, timber that we own. So, ooh, come on and cut it sharp. Oh no, not the crop, not the crop. Dang it. That's our crop, too. That's the bad part. <laughs> so, we missed, well, we got just a little bit there. Just a little bit. Be nice to have GPS. I would sit, I would sit, if even if it was only enabled in the tractor, I would sit in the tractor and run GPS off the screen here. If we had GPS. I mean, it would be nice to have it enabled outside the tractor too, but even if it was just inside, and you could activate it from the screen here, I would sit in this tractor all day and uh, work my fields. That would be so much fun. That would, Well, I don't know. You say, well, you sit in the tractor all day and work fields. And go, yeah. This is farming simulator. It's what we do. I'd, I'd uh, sit here and just drive up and down the fields and listen to some music and... Uh, and uh, work my fields if we had GPS but it's hard to drive in cab without GPS especially when you're doing big fields like this you know if you're in a smaller tractor or something and you're just doing like a little small field then yeah it'd, it'd be alright probably but um, no I'm not uh, I'm not gonna sit in there all day without GPS so hopefully that will come to console um, Hopefully it will be on PC again in uh, 19 because they have it on PC already for 17 That is another reason why I want to switch to PC so I'm still hoping to do that. Uh, I don't know I've Got some issues with I don't know streaming uh, the computer that I currently have uh, I don't know what the deal is. I'm gonna have to uh, do some googling but uh, went to do the uh, the live stream tried out and um, I don't know it's something with the software or something I'm gonna have to do some research on how to fix it but 
I may start doing a, a few more live streams at some point. I'm gonna have to. It's, it's kind of and two, it's kind of difficult to do the live streams on these maps because a lot of the episodes on, on this are recorded like two weeks in advance. Um, or, you know, somewhere around two weeks. Don't hit the tree. Don't hit the tree. Don't hit the tree. Oh. All right, we got it. We're good. Uh, the boss didn't see that. Wait. That's me. But anyway, yeah, I'm gonna have to uh, figure something out there because if we, unless we have like a stream, like exclusive map or something, or just stop recording these two weeks in advance, I really hate to do that because if something happens or something comes up, because you know life happens sometimes. Uh, it's very hard to get an episode up right away uh, whereas you know recording these two weeks in advance you know something could happen and there's still videos going up but I've got two weeks to you know record more uh, rather than just having like a day to get something up so and I, I hate to not have any content for you guys um, those that uh, do watch my channel so yeah here's our forestry area we got it cleaned out I need to get the stumps ground out still got to do that but uh, yeah this is it you can see where they did the forestry before see all the trees that were planted they are still growing I'm not gonna cut them I'll wait till they uh, get on up there to full 100% growth actually you know what let's go take a look at that that's kind of, I'm kind of curious see what stage they're in that'll be all right for a minute see these are the small trees I can pull up my uh, my whopper whopster whopper Ooh, I kind of want a whopper now from Burger King um, shoot it at the tree well actually that says hundred percent so the question is are these growing That says 100%. Hmm. Are these trees growing or are they not? See, this is another uh, fine example of a glitch here. This tree was out of the ground, so I had to cut it really high. Well, we may have to cut these trees too then. I hate to cut them so small, but if they're not growing, and according to this whopper, whopster, they are at 100%. Hmm. Very interesting. We may have to go ahead and cut those and just replant all together at the same time. Not the chainsaw. I need to get over. Alright guys, well, we are just about around to the corner here. We'll come back and hire this out and um, get our fertilizer going. And then we need to work for the other farmers, too. We've got to get that done. And when he gets done cultivating, or she gets done cultivating, whoever decides to hop on here, we'll get our planter out after fertilizing and uh, plant some soybeans, I think. I think that's what we're going to put in this uh, in these fields. Ooh, whoa. Getting a little squirrely here. Going around this corner. This quad track, I don't know if it's just me, but it seems kind of snappy on the uh, on the controls here. The Challenger with the round wheels doesn't seem that bad. Seems like it's easier to control, but this one kind of feels like it snaps kind of too much or something. I don't know, it's really weird. Like it's kind of clinging to the ground, and it might be. Nice patio. Nice patio. We need a pool out back. See, me, I would probably take that fence down and expand the yard back a little bit and put a pool right here where we're cultivating. And then just expand the field out just a little bit. But anyway, that's just me. Let me get this hired out here. Or at least get it around here. 
Oh, this is gonna be squirrely. Yep, I'm gonna have to do something here. I'm gonna have to back up and line up. Raise the cultivator. Don't hit the tree or the pole. Lower cultivator. Alright. Cool beans. Now, should I run this east to west? I think I'm going to run it north to south. Here. Then maybe eventually do it east to west. Leave a little bit of overlap there because I am not the world's straightest driver. Alright, so who are we going to hire out here? I don't know who that is. Looks like a Tomas, though, to me. Alright, guys. We'll uh, keep on uh, getting all this ready. I'm going to get the fertilizer going, I think, next. And um, then we'll get the planter going when this guy gets done here. So until then, remember you reap what you sow. It's Matt from the Green Arcade. We'll see you guys later.